So basically, I mean, we saw this guy lying down from that ridge at the top there. We worked around. Initially, I thought we were going to come up on this ridge, and I thought my shot was going to be about 400 meters, but we ended up coming a little bit closer even. I think we did super well with the stalk and all I could see because he was lying in the bush like this literally all I could see was between these branches he slightly turned his head and I caught my, while my brother falls over the bush and I just caught a little section of his horns and uh, I got set up on the radian and as soon as he sort of turned his neck into this opening I shot him straight from the back there right behind his head and I shot him a little bit lower behind his neck that if I did want it to mount him, I still can, because the bullet had exited right here, um, sort of below his mouth, so it's like straight behind the head. And the shot's exactly where I wanted it to be, so I'm very happy with that. He's a beautiful bull, he's in great condition. Thanks, Bardo. Now for the guys that watch the channel that think we hunt for sport, we absolutely don't. We're gonna eat every single ounce of this, except for the horns. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked. Sorry that we couldn't get the kill on camera for you guys, but uh, hunting doesn't always allow that. We interrupt the hunt to thank MDT for making videos like this possible. I'm shooting an LSS Gen 2 chassis system. They're a light sniper system. It's perfect for hunting. It's modular. It clicks into my tripod. It literally ticks all the boxes and it's stupidly accurate. Before this hunt, I cleaned my rifle, took it out the chassis. When I re-zeroed, I put two rounds through each other. It's, it's ridiculously repeatable. So check out MDT Tech if you're looking for a lightweight hunting chassis or a competition chassis, or you want to breathe some new life into an old bolt gun you've got lying in the safe. MDTTech.com, thank you so much for making stories like this one possible. So after a pretty successful morning, we came out again. We're in this epic valley down here now. Quarter to five, there's literally no point, even if there was the biggest bull ever down here. There's a saying in South Africa, where do you shoot a kudu bull? The answer, well that actually applies to an eland bull too. And the answer to where you shoot them is next to the road, because they are mega animals. Um, so we're going to work over this ridge and hopefully see something there, because there is a service road coming up this section of the mountain. But, uh, there's so much game here, it's awesome. But we're losing daylight a little bit, so we've got to keep moving. Spotted a good bull 
there was some springbok playing and he just stepped out and I saw him. He said about 5.80 now, there is not a breath of wind. I could go prone here, yeah, rear bag. It was very, very tempting. But at 20 past 5 and the sun's already below the mountains there. But maybe we'll go a little bit closer and see what happens. Yeah. Shot this morning, so it might be a bit more expensive, but we'll see. But James. 
Jason said that we can shoot something for free, so. Thank you. I thought at one point I heard the bucky coming. I'll tell you what man, these tripods are a freaking game changer. More people should learn to hunt from tripods. It just opens up. I mean if you couldn't go prone here, how would you contact that shot? If somebody's watching this and you make a really good rifle sling, I need a good rifle sling and I'll give you a lot of exposure on the channel because my current sling short action precision this is a really good sling for shooting precision rifle competitions but not so much for hunting so if somebody's got a lekker sling I highly appreciate it send me an email um, and it's gonna be difficult just leave a comment with your email and I'll email you <laughs> The next morning, last night, we ended up finishing pretty late, so we didn't wrap up the video. It got dark on us relatively quickly. We ended up loading the kudu bull at, after eight, I think it was, because it took a while for the truck to get to where we were, because even though we started relatively close to a road, we really couldn't drive then. We really needed a bird shell to carry it for us. So Fred and Scott, uh, if we could invent an app where we could call you guys in to come and carry a kudu, that would be awesome. My brother and I hiked about nine, kilometers this morning already we're doing a little bit of rucking because we filled our limit yesterday the rest of the team are out hunting still and uh, we came up to this freaking awesome spot so if it's su super echoey there's like a massive cliff face here behind me with some bushman drawings and stuff but unfortunately the weather's sort of taken its toll on those but man guys the this hunt was awesome i think this is going to be a staple for me going forward I really enjoyed the way we hunted here, the sort of walk and stalk type hunting. Jason that, that guided us was awesome um, and my boot did a great job on, on the filming too. We will sort of refine our setup to continuous, continuously make our hunting films better. Obviously this is a pretty much a one-man show from the editing department and my brother's filming but we'll continue to refine our gear and try and make the experience better for you guys. I didn't shoot the trigger cam on this hunt on a magnum caliber you guys would have seen on my first shot yesterday morning the amount of recoil especially if you're shooting out of a tripod in like a compromised position and with the trigger cam it takes up too much of your eye relief and i really don't want a nice scar above my face for trying to get that on camera for you guys so we'll refine that a little bit and see if we can come up with a better solution unfortunately it's not always possible to set up a spotting scope with a phone scope on there to get you guys nice vapor trail onto the target obviously i'd like to give you that but that's not always an option 
Anyway, if you like this style of filming, please make sure you're subscribed. If you want to support our adventures and help us continue to produce content like this, consider joining my Patreon. That's basically like a crowdfunding platform where you guys can essentially fund one of your favorite shows on YouTube. Leave the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in sort of our regular programming from next week. Thanks again to my brother. Make sure you follow him on Instagram too, Geis Reis. That would be highly appreciated. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>